Okay, good. So my name is David Crookham. I'm with uh, Prism Projection, which is a company based in uh, the USA in Iowa. And I'm here to introduce uh, two products to you, the Reveal Color Wash and the Reveal Studio. And um, we're going to just do a little show and tell and, and so you can see how they work. I wanted to bring them over here so you can get a visualization of them. We're big into seeing is believing and, and want, to, um, want to talk through some of the finer aspects of it and to explain what we've done and, and how we've done it to be able to really elevate the application and use of LED sources in um, film, theater, production work, television work, a lot of different areas like that. And to get into that, um, I have, um, I don't know if this would be of value, but I can, I can provide you with some data sheets if you want to pass those out. Um, that gives you a little bit of background on it. If you have technical questions and some information about that, I hopefully there's enough for all of you there. Um, core behind um, the two products we've, we've introduced to date is what we call true source. And as you're all, or may all be aware, um, with LED sources, they're, they're, they have evolved to a, a particular level, but the quality of the, of the, of this, and the nature of the dye themselves, the nature of LEDs themselves, have really prevented um, the mass adaptation into lighting people and lighting extremely high quality events. And what we've done in, in the past year is developed um, initially the color wash, which is a unit here. And it's all based around a technology called True Source. And True Source is really three key elements. It allows you to be able to um, completely blend the source. So LEDs individually are, can be pixelated, create striations in the beam, and you get in, inconsistency in color, color rendering. And there's been, with, with, with LED dyes themselves, they all are, have their own unique wavelength, and they all are independent of one another. And so there's been processes and means to be able to try to, to create consistency of color. Binning has been one of the aspects or ways in which that's been done. But with True Source, um, the first thing we've done is we've blended a complete beam together. So if you look at the, the, the source itself, it's a completely hom homogeneous source. So there's no striations of the beam. There's a consistency of color. So it mirrors and what, mirrors conventional sources. And so everything that we're doing is trying to build products that one can replace, a designer can replace conventional sources with, with an LED source and not have to compromise the quality of the, of the, of the use of the light source, the quality of the, of, the, of the event or the application they're lighting. So the simple thing is that the other part, I guess, I should say along with that, I guess in the speaker term, um, you know, another aspect is the dimming curve with it. And so you can see how smooth the dimming process is. So it performs very, very, very much like a conventional source would and no shut off or click off at the bottom. Or I can adjust the color temperature to a very warm incandescent or I can go to a daylight color. This is done with the second part of it is the the optics and the fully blended source, but the second point is the multi-primary mixing. So we mix five colors, red, green, blue, cyan, and amber. The blending of all those colors together allow us to be able to create very, very high quality CRI, white light, as well as a very, very wide, rich color gamut. Um, once again, so you can see on my hand there, if you can see that all right, you can just see how nice warm color temperature is, all the way to a blue, white color. So you're actually mirroring or I can slip that off and I can go into a very wide range of color rendering, create pastels. All of this then combines with the third step and the third aspect of, of, of uh, True Source, which is the optical feedback system. Every unit we build has a tri-stimulus optical feedback sensor internal to the unit. So as we, as, as, as we produce the color, Is that, yeah. As we produce the, the color of the light, the, the tri-stimulus optical sensor constantly monitors the color we're producing, feeds it back into algorithms, and does any correction necessary in order to be able to maintain that exact color point. On the back side of this, I don't know where this is all coming from. And actually you can see on the back side of this, if I flip this around, and change the display here. With True Source, we're actually outputting the exact XY coordinates of the color being generated. So 
it gives you, back, mapping back to a CIE chart, it gives you the specific coordinates and the color being produced. The, the tri-stimulus optical sensor constantly monitors, corrects that color. So individual dyes, even though they're, they, they, they're unique to begin with, or they change in time and temperature, age, all the factors that have always affected LED sources has been eliminated. You can buy 10 products a day and 10 products in a year from now, and they'll produce exactly the same color because it's all mapped back to the CIE coordinates system, which is essentially back to the CIE chart. So as, as I move for Is it the mic or what is it? Is it because I'm in front of him? So as I as I move through the color spectrum on the on the um, through the white color spectrum, you can actually see how it moves across the, the the color chart, tracking on that CIE chart. So what it what it really does, and we wanted to do, is to separate it because a lot of claims are made about the quality of color, the quality of white light being produced, the quality of the things, and because of the optical sensor, the true color source, the five color mixing, all of those things combine together to create a very 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 high quality um, light. In addition to that, with the, with the Reveal color wash, um, we have a variety of lenses. This comes native 27. It can be a, you can lens it to 37, 50, 70, 90, or rectangular. Um, and then it takes accessory attachments on top of that. Um, it pulls a little less than one amp, so it has all the great benefits of LED sources, but provides extremely long life. It also has a very advanced cooling system, so it keeps the dye extremely cool. And that's really part of the unlocking of the glue to make products like this is that is that thermodynamic management process. And it is critical for the life of the product. They're not overdriven. And when you combine a lot of dye into a small area, you've got to be able to manage the, the heat and the color in order to be able to maintain the properties. And so that's really what this does. Um, before I shift over to the studio, are there any questions on the color wash or any questions at this moment? The, um, so that's the Reveal Color Wash, which is the first product we entered. And then the second one, and I guess just to go through a few of the, the features of the product, the specificity repeat of color, extended color gamut with multiple primaries, the tunability of color temperature from 1800 to 10,000 K, color rendering in excess of 95, uh, completely blended sources I mentioned before, no degrading ultraviolet or uncomfortable infrared, the closed loop optical feedback system, um, the packaging, the fragile, the environmental friendly aspects to it, um, the 50,000 hour rating, uh, an average of 47 lumens per watt.